In today's Cyberpunk video, we're gonna take a look at an updated Adam Smasher 2.0 build for Phantom Liberty. I wanted to implement extra explosions and AoE damage with this one, so we found a way to do so both for our main gun, which is going to be, of course, light machine guns, but also implementing the new overcharged launch system, which in my opinion is really great and there are some potentially very strong synergies against bosses that go down very hard. But when you imagine Adam Smasher, your mind immediately goes to everything that's destructive. And this is basically what we're trying to achieve with this build. Complete annihilation of anything and everything that's in our path. Which is why we're using mods like the Firecracker on one of our LMGs. So that all of our rounds can now also cause explosions. And this is going to give you a ton of AoE and extra damage. We also have the Projectile Launch System, which with the Relic Skill Tree can now be completely overcharged dealing a ton of damage and unleashing even more rockets. And yes, they are extremely powerful this way, plus the cooldown is very short. So this is how we're going to use our skill trees. We're going to go with 20 into body, reflex and technical ability. And of course, you can start with the body since this is the most important. And specifically, this line right here to the left side, starting with die, die, die. In fact, we already get a really cool passive right next to it called like a feather. So this is going to give you no more movement penalties with shotguns, light machine guns and heavy machine guns equipped, meaning that you're going to be as nimble as any other build while you're still equipping the heaviest of the guns in cyberpunk but we also have obliteration a very important skill here so as we take down enemies hp more and more to lower values this is going to increase our chance to instantly obliterate that target like just dismembering it and killing it instantly and this has a 20 percent chance at max but we can buff that to 30 percent if we use close quarters carnage which i definitely suggest using as we are going to be close to enemies but uh, then we also have the Onslaught, a very good option for LMGs anyway. It gives you a 20% ammo refill when you take down enemies, so you can continue for a lot longer with it. Grip and Tear is also a viable option here. This build still leaves room for shotguns, so you can even play as a backup kind of build and implement the Guts shotgun since these two builds would likely overlap. So yeah, definitely do that if you want. But in terms of some of the other good passives over here, we also have the Dread. This gives us really good armor penetration and this can actually spread to other enemies if we dismember any enemies. So we do that all the time with obliteration. This is going to make it spread to any nearby targets. Plus, we have the Bloodlust, a really awesome option as we also implement Adrenaline Rush with this. So as we continuously dismember more enemies, we gain additional Adrenaline so this is going to give us a ton more survivability with an extra yellow HP bar. Everything else from this point on are all of these abilities you saw me pick. So simply copy them down, especially the ones next to um, the Adrenaline Rush are going to be important. So Juggernaut as well as Unstoppable Force so that you no longer get like knocked down and you also gain some extra damage which is going to be important for your LMGs. Now in reflexes we don't really care about much except for dash so we're just gonna go for all of this all the way at the top to tailwind so that we don't consume as much stamina when we bunny hop all over the place however i do recommend also getting multitasker muscle memory and steady grip so that you can um, yeah, use your lmgs when jumping vaulting and doing all of those kinds of actions maybe even pick up all of these mitigation chance stuff like can't touch this and aerodynamics to help you a bit more with survivability but this brings us to technical ability and again the left side tree is going to be very important specifically because this is going to give us the gluten for war and the health freak and all the other bonuses to health regen items but most important here is going to be well first of all pyromania so this includes from any type of explosion including grenades but also from your rocket launchers giving us extra movement speed and extra explosive damage and stacking up to five times However, we can actually synergize this with two more incredible perks. So one of them is the Doom Launcher. This just gives our projectile launch system some extra charges and recharge speed. However, it also gives us the same bonus as grenades get from the perk called Burn This City. So this is the Burn This City perk right next to Pyromania. And what this does is that it consumes all of your five stacks of Pyromania when you reach that number. And this is going to immediately replenish a grenade charge, but will still continue to give you the bonuses from Pyromania for another 6 seconds. 
So in the case of the Doom launcher, this is going to now also affect your rocket launcher, meaning that every time you hit a target or multiple targets five times with your projectile launch system, you're going to instantly replenish a charge of your rockets. So you're going to be able to cast these very, very often, almost all the time, no matter what, as you just continuously use it against targets. That's why for this build, you definitely want the relic upgrades, especially starting with the jailbreak. We're going to use this so that we can overcharge our projectile launch system that we can shoot five rockets in total and it's actually really good plus we can gain an extra charge if we go with the capacity override upgrade again if you want to easily get a ton of relic points i already covered a video before that you can check if you want to get most of them in just the first starting hour of phantom liberty and we have a bunch of other upgrades here to the relic skill tree definitely get vulnerability analytics and it's upgrade machine learning so that you can also take advantage of enemy weak spots and deal even more damage especially if you fight with the max stack for the remaining points in the technical ability obviously just go with everything edge runner eventually even get the cyborg since obviously we do want to equip every single cyber slot and get all the possible cyberware but that might take a bit of time until you upgrade your cyber capacity even more now until then let's talk about the items there are a couple of items that we're going to make use primarily and this includes of course lmgs be it the defender or the ma70 this build can also be used with shotguns so you can totally use the gods and also make a backup variant of this if you want these two types of builds kind of overlap but for the LMGs, regardless which one you pick, you're going to want the Firecracker mod right here. This is something that you can only craft if you take an item once you defeat the Chimera in one of the starting missions in Phantom Liberty. But you have to make sure that you get the Chimera core, otherwise you cannot craft any of these legendary mods right here. But um, this one specifically is going to add explosive rounds to all of your power weapons lmgs included and you can also scrap the weapon and move it to something else if you want to you can almost never lose this unless you really want to so this is what's going to give us that extra damage on the lmgs combined with the very high rate of fire we're going to cause so many explosions it's almost like a firecracker at the enemy's feet but of course that has an even higher chance to dismember enemies so we're going to have even higher chances to spread that armor penetration perk against them which i think is really cool in the cyberware systems we're gonna go with the apogee devastan obviously the slow time is the same as what adam smasher uses in the anime but you can also go with the berserk militech instead if you want complete immunity especially against the max stack obviously you will couple both of these with something like the axolotl so that you can reduce that cooldown as much as possible now another interesting synergy i'm going with here is the toxic projectile launch system in the arms category this has a chance to poison enemies However, we can combine this with the Black Mamba, which against poison targets, we gain extra damage by 18%. So that can be a really good way to take down bosses or anything that you can poison. And with 5 rockets almost constantly, you're always going to have enemies poisoned. Outside of that, we also have the Karenzikov, and I'm also using the Revolzer. If you can add Revolzer, it's definitely awesome because it just triggers all the time, giving you even more slow time effect between this Karenzikov and Apogee. So you're constantly going to be moving on the battlefield like true Adam Smasher would. We also need the Shock and All. We're gonna stay really close to enemies. We have quite a bit of mitigation, so we do want to zap them every time they hit us it's going to hurt them more than it hurts us when we get attacked also the chitin if you can get it and have the spare cyber capacity you should definitely get it the health regen on it is crazy as well as the armor everything else from this point on it can increase damage for example the new kiroshi optics exclusive to phantom liberty can give you a ton of extra critical chance if you kind of feel you're not dealing enough damage but again it's going to cost you 30 capacity and everything from this point on is just a matter of healing up so we're gonna use blood pump this is really good it's instant so by far the best healing mechanic in the whole game also heal on kill so that we can survive for longer and stay on the battlefield for longer plus the reinforced tendon so that we can do double jumps bunny hops and also activate Karenzikov a lot easier 
Now, in terms of downsides, obviously, this isn't going to be as immediately crazy as, for example, headshot dagger builds, which can instantly crit and deal thousands of damage. But you're still going to have a ton of fun. You're going to have a ton of movement. You're going to have no issues with ammo regen. It's just that you're going to have to craft heavy ammo every now and then since your LMGs will consume a ton of it. But it's very satisfying. The crunchy feeling of obliterating enemies plus all the other things that cause the firecracker explosions are going to be extremely satisfying in the true name of an Adam Smasher kind of build. So yeah, this is pretty much it with the build. Let me know down below in the comments if you're using it and even more so if you do have any other recommendations for it. Maybe a weapon that I might have missed so it could maybe work really good with this. In the meantime, thanks much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.